The night of glamour and tradition, known as the St. Andrew's Ball, begins here, with attendees put through their paces learning dances that they will perform at the ball. Scottish Cayley dancing is similar in some respects to North American square dancing, but the movements are not signaled by a collar. Instead, the patterns must be memorized and may appear daunting to the novice, but are quickly learned in the presence of helpful friends. Here's the fun part. Eight people in groups are engaged in a puzzle that must be solved by all eight. If they solve it and they end the dance as the pipes stop, there is much satisfaction. Several months of preparation by the ball committee are now being executed. Numbered tables are being arranged and table decorations are placed carefully on each. The night is upon us. Guests arrive and gather in the lobby outside the hall. The people who attended the practices in their jeans and loafers are now magnificent in gowns with sashes and colorful formal kilts. It is now time to begin the evening with the entry of the head table behind pipers of the 48th and banners of the society and the regiment. The guests wave their napkins in the traditional form of greeting. The star of the meal is the entry of the haggis, borne by two officers of the regiment and addressed by the regimental sergeant major. and it is cleared of tables, after which guests return to begin the dancing. goes on to the wee hours when the band performs the beating retreat ceremony, which leaves everyone wanting more. The dancers then disperse into the night, all anticipating the event to be repeated next year.